Make sure you watch this entire video. Absolutely free breakdown Monday, July 17th. We're doing a little total action between the Cubs and the Nationals. Now, very important on this one. I gave away a free pick on this game on the Instagram reel. Now, this free pick here, keep up, guys. I know half of you out there are, are really smart, good, like, bright people that can follow along. And then unfortunately, half of you are fucking ding-dongs. I'm um, sorry. I don't mean to be rude. But I get so many crazy questions. Like, I'll post a game and people, like, I posted, I posted the Cubs team total on Instagram. And someone commented underneath, Cubs money line, let's go. I did not give the Cubs money line in that selection. I'm not saying I don't like the Cubs money line. I'm saying that particular selection was not the Cubs money line. So you guys got to follow along. All right. Um, and, and for those of you who are bright, like my comment crew, those are all some real smart, smart cats right there. Leave us a comment. Become part of that comment crew. Like our like our video. Um, hit the like button. And if nothing else, subscribe to the page. You want to be subscribed to this page so anytime something comes up, you're notified about it. Turn your notifications on. Get that little extra security. So we're going to dig into this game in a second. But once again, pay attention. Follow along. Make sure you check the date of the game I'm giving you. Baseball can be tricky. These teams play three, four days in a row. Sometimes I'll drop a Saturday game and people think it's a Sunday game. Or sometimes I'll drop a Sunday game Saturday night and people think it's for Saturday. And then they'll play the game Saturday and they'll lose when, and then the Sunday game wins and then they're upset. Or sometimes they get lucky and they play the game Saturday and the Saturday game wins also. But guys, you got to be a little bit sharper. You got to pay a little bit more attention. We're giving free picks on these platforms. We can lead a horse to water, but you can't teach the horse how to drink. You've heard that saying before. So we can lead you to the bet, but we can't make the bet for you guys. You got to pay attention. You got to be smart and don't bet over your head. I'll see comments when a free game loses. It'll be like, oh, I lost 2K on this one. What the hell? No offense, but what the hell? are you doing betting $2,000 on a free game? If you can bet that kind of money, you should be on the phone with us immediately, not betting it on our free games. Um, so that's that's my rant for the day. I'm done after that. I love you guys. You, you guys, I've been telling you guys I love you for years now. You guys know that I love you. The Cubs are nationals. are squaring off for the fifth time this season. A three-game series starting tonight. Let's dig right into it the nationals come into this game after dropping two in a row against the cardinals including their last outing eight to four um it was just a a rough game for them they couldn't finish it they started in the league but they couldn't finish it the nats have a 37 and 56 record good for fifth in the nl east they've dropped seven of their last 10 games averaging 4.2 runs that's 22nd in the league Collective batting average of 260, uh, 317 on base percentage, 399 slugging percentage. They're 29th in home runs, um, very low in stolen bases. Not good stuff. Pitching-wise, trash, giving up five-point run runs a game, 9.4 hits a game. Uh, teams are batting 272 against them. Their collective ERA is 485, and their collective whip is 148. Not good stuff. Um, scheduled to get the start tonight is Mackenzie Gore. He's right below, right around their average 4.42 area, 1.46 whip. Not great stuff. Once again, he's not impressive. Nothing impressive about this team at all. The Cubs are currently third in the NL Central, 43 and 49 record. They've won five last. They've won. They're five and five in their last ten. They're averaging four. 0.7 runs per game, 8.3 hits per game. Um, slugging is 320, uh, 397 on base, 326. Batting average, 247. So, you know, they have good signs here. They can hit the ball. They're pitching solid, only allowing 4.4 runs per game, 8.1 hits. Collective ERA of 412. 
collective whip of 126, both 15th in the league. So they're they're the middle of the pack. This is a middle of the pack team going against a bottom of the pack team, in my opinion. And I think Drew Star Drew Smiley, who is a starting pitcher for the Cubs, already faced the Nationals this year, and he pitched well. He pitched for seven innings, only allowed one run, six hits. Um, the Cubs have also faced Gore, put up four runs on seven hits on just four innings of action. This is why I am going with the Cubs team total over four runs. This is going to be at like a minus 115, minus 120 line. Your book might have over four and a half or minus 105. I would try to get that alternate line to Cubs team total over four runs. That's my play. Lock it and clock it. I'm expecting a lot of hits and home runs here, and I'm expecting the Cubs to put up points. I love you. Put up runs. I'm sorry. I love you guys. I will. Hey, if the rant offended you, this page isn't for you. Everybody that views these videos knows how much I love you guys, knows how much work we put into just getting you guys stuff for free. There are people that have been following this page for five years for free, making money on our free picks for five years that have never paid us a dollar. They love us. We love them. I'll see you guys tomorrow for more MLB breakdowns. You're going to have Billy the Beard coming on here today also. Give a total as well. Stay tuned.